Well, good morning, friends. It is nine o'clock, and that means it is time for our launch party, our new mini catalog launch party. So I am really, really excited to be with you guys today. And I'm hoping that some of you will be able to join me live. But if you're watching the replay, that's good too. Just looking for some positioning here. <clears throat> You'll see all my little flags on my catalog. What I want to show you. I'm so excited to be with you this morning. So if you're here, please say hello. Let me see if comments will come up on my iPad. Good morning, Cassandra. Hi, Diane. Glad you guys are here. We're gonna wait just a second to see who all can join us. There is Lisa, good morning, Lisa. And we are going to get started with our catalog stroll first thing. I love launch party. I love having a brand new catalog full of beautiful new products. So you'll have to tell me what is your favorite thing about a new catalog I am a designer series paper girl love those pretty papers hi Judy but then of course I also love the ribbons and embellishments I really love it all but what is your favorite thing what's the first thing that you go searching for when a new catalog comes out live but also want to say hello to anybody that may be watching the replay Okay, now let me know what you're always in search of when a new catalog comes out. What's your favorite thing? There's just so much to be excited about with the new catalog. So we are doing this launch party a little bit different. It's a little bit later um, than I normally do it, but just the way that the holidays fell and then our regular classes, I decided to wait until today to launch this catalog. So one of the benefits that I've already seen is I know the products just a little bit better um, this time than I usually do when a new catalog comes out. Always takes me a little bit of time to learn names and colors and that type of thing. So I feel like I'm a little bit better, but um, not perfect yet. So we have lots to do today and I'll tell you a little bit about how this is going to work. So first up here at nine o'clock is our catalog stroll. We will look through the catalog. I have set samples to share with you, some products to kind of feature and highlight. And then at nine o'clock, you're in for a real treat because our amazing, talented friend from Arkansas, Judy Cleveland, will be presenting for us. So you're not going to want to miss her presentation. She has a beautiful design aesthetic and is such a wonderful crafter. So I know she's going to have something amazing for us because that's just how she rolls. <laughs> and then at 11 o'clock, my fabulous friend, Cassandra Rivas, is going to be presenting for us. So super excited about that as well. Because Cassandra is an amazing crafter. So generous too with her cards and little um, boxes that she makes. She's always sending things out to other people and I love that about Cassandra. So I'm so grateful that both of them are doing this for us today. It just really, um, it just really makes it better for you guys because you're going to be able to see some different ideas. Okay, are we having trouble with sound? Can anybody else? Yes, sound is on. Let me know. I hope we're not going to have technical difficulties again. Let me know if you're having trouble 
seeing the video or hearing the audio. Wait just a second. And if we are, we'll just hop off and hop back on. But I hope not. Okay, so Judy hears me. Good morning, Lisa. Jan, you may want to hop off and hop back on and see if that fixes the problem. Okay, thank you, Judy. All right, well, let's get started with catalog stroll. So, 9 o'clock catalog stroll. We'll look at some samples. We'll look at new product. 10 o'clock, Judy Cleveland will be presenting. So excited. 11 o'clock, Cassandra Rivas will be presenting. So excited. And then at noon, if you registered for the make and take packet, that's when we will be putting together our make and takes. We've got four really cute projects and they're all from a different suite. So that's going to be fun. Thank you, Cassandra. Um, they're all from a different suite, so you're going to get to see lots of product in your hands. I'm excited about that. So we will do that at noon, and then followed by that, so maybe about 12.45, 1 o'clock, I'll announce a couple of prize winners. So how are you entered for a chance to win a prize? Just leave a comment. That's all you have to do on any of the videos that we share today. And I'll just do a random number generator and we will pick some comments and that will be our winners. Now I'm going to do two um, prizes today and then two prizes probably Tuesday night. I'll draw for those so that people have time that need to watch their love being able to offer that. Okay, let's jump in. So the first thing we're going to do is take a look at our new mini catalog. Beautiful artwork and projects on the cover. It's always so pretty and um, so fresh and clean too. I love this catalog. So January to June mini catalog. These products um, are available until June. Now I will say that with this global pandemic, Stampin' Up! is like other country companies and we are experiencing supply chain issues. Um, a lot of our products are made in the U.S., but sometimes we rely on components that may come from another country. So that can even affect the manufacturing in our plants here in the U.S. and Utah. So um, Stampin' Up! recently changed the policy. There are no back orders anymore. So if something is not available and you're in my online store, you will see that it's not available right now. And if you ever have a question about when it's expected to be back in stock, you can let me know and I can look that up for you. Um, sometimes they're able to pinpoint dates, sometimes um, not. So we just have to kind of wait to see what happens. I mean, you guys know about the shipping issues, um, the ports and the delays, and so that affects us as well. But for the most part, products will be available January through June from this mini catalog. So when you open the very front cover, let me grab my notes so I don't forget to tell you anything. Um, first thing I wanted to point out is our table of contents over here on page three. And then down at the bottom of that table of contents, you've got some icons. And just thought we would talk about those right quick because you'll see these appear throughout the catalog. So the first one is 10% off. So when you purchase a stamp die or a stamp punch bundle, you can save 10%. So that's pretty awesome. And then we've also got a little icon that is quick and easy. So that lets you know that projects with this icon are pretty simple and straightforward projects that you could very easily recreate. And then we've got Distinctive. Now these are a type of stamps that are exclusive to Stampin' Up! And we actually have a patent on these stamps. So these are stamps that have the depth and the shading already built into the stamps. So they're amazing images when you stamp those. So all you really need 
is stamps, ink, and paper to make a beautiful project with those. And then we've got an icon for mini, and that means that the die shown with that icon will fit through the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. So you know we have a mini machine and we have a regular size stamp and cut and emboss machine. So some of the dies won't fit through the mini. Very many of them will, but some won't. So this just lets you know that they fit through the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. And then the last icon is that something is available in both English and in French, because in North America, in our market, we also have our Canadian friends. So then just turning the page. Now we're going, we're not gonna go page by page completely in the catalog, but these first couple of pages have a lot of information that I really wanted to share with you. And Mary's here. Good morning, Mary. I'm gonna try to watch for comments as well. Um, Dale is sick and so he is isolated away from me. And so I'm just doing this on my own today, so I appreciate your patience with me. Okay, this next page shows our um, CEO. Well, our, she was our former, she's our former CEO. She is our co-founder, Shelly Gardner. So she is a very inspirational woman. She's an amazing crafter in her own right. I love her aesthetic. She loves to spritz things and um, she's just got a beautiful aesthetic in her crafting. She's an amazing woman. She and her sister started Stampin' Up! 30, what, about 35 years ago now in Shelly's living room. And so it very, very quickly grew. In the first couple of years of Stampin' Up!, they moved multiple times because it was just growing so quickly. So I always like to point out Shelly's message because she is such an inspirational person. And in her message this time in this catalog, she talks about what makes Stampin' Up! unique. And I love that she mentions the quality of our products. So if you've purchased our cardstock, designer series paper, our stamps, it is amazing quality. And if you ever have an issue with something that you purchase from Stampin' Up, then you just let me know and they will take care of it. I've seen it over and over, even times when maybe let's say an ink pad is many years old. I've seen them make it right because they value their customers and they value their customer service. So it is a quality company. It's a debt-free company, which I love mentioning that because this day and age, that just really blows me away. I love that, that it's a very strong company. And then also our coordination of products. So you guys are all users of Stampin' Up! And you know that if you purchase a designer series paper, there's cardstock, ribbon, embellishments, and, you know, stamps and dies or stamps and punches that coordinate with those products. So it makes it so much so that um, quality and then the coordination of products. Stampin' Up! also has amazing artwork and designers and artists at our company. So that's a huge value to us as well. And then also the demonstrators in Stampin' Up! So today you're going to see and hear me and then also Judy and Cassandra, they're demonstrators. And so, you know, there's so many different things as a demonstrator that you can do. But one of the benefits of purchasing from a demonstrator is that you have that expert at your fingertips. All you have to do is text or call us and we're happy to help you if you have a problem or a question. So that's another huge value um, and something that makes Stampin' Up! unique as a direct sales company. Okay, let's move on. Oh, I did want to mention too, this making a difference. Um, that is something that our company um, works on a lot. Like we have days of making a difference. We have stamp sets that when you purchase them, a portion of the proceeds go to a charity and that changes from time to time. There are sometimes promotions that um, money is given to charity. So there's so many ways that we can make a difference, but as a crafter, you can make a difference in the lives of others if when you make those projects, you actually put them in the mail to somebody else, if you share them. 
So don't forget to do that. It's wonderful to craft and create, but we also have to share those projects and we have to get them in the hands of others. So make sure that you are making a difference in sending out what you create. Okay, just turning the page now. We're up to page six, and this talks about our kits. So Stampin' Up! has many um, all-inclusive kits that you can now find on our website. So you can either go to stampinup.com, or if you wanna shop with me, you can go to stampwithct.stampinup.net, and you can find there all of the kits and what's available right now. So it's the most current, up-to-date information. So lots of kits that you can stamp, and then there's kits that have pieces that you just assemble. So it's really whatever you want to do. And the, the beauty of kits is that you don't have to worry about the design work. You're just able to quickly create beautiful projects. Then we also have Paper Pumpkin, which is our subscription box. And we'll talk a little bit more about celebration in a little bit, but right now, January and February of 2022 is celebration. So Paper Pumpkin is an awesome deal at about, what, $22 a kit per month. So you can be a subscriber and each month receive your kit, or you can also purchase prepaid Paper Pumpkin subscriptions. So you can do three, six, or 12 month. And when you do that during celebration, don't forget that you receive the celebration items too. So those free gifts with purchase. Okay, let me look right quick and see if I have any comments. Good morning. So glad you guys are here with me today. Okay, we are up to our very first suite. And this one is called Sweet Talk. I wanna stop here because I want to share with you a little bit about the way the layout is in this catalog. So first of all, on this left-hand side, you've got lots of samples to help inspire you. Down here, you have the name of the suite. And just a little hint, um, anytime the name of the suite, that's also the name of the designer series paper. And anytime you have a bundle, when you look at the name of the stamp set, that's the name of the bundle, and those are the ones that you can save 10% on. So you've got this name of the suite. It also has an item code here. So here are all of the components in this suite, and if you want one of each of those, you just put that single item code in for the collection, and it makes it super easy for ordering. Otherwise, you do have your stamps and dies you have an embossing folder, an embellishment ribbon, and then the designer series paper. Also, be sure to notice that across the bottom here, you have the colors that coordinate with the designer series paper. So when you're ordering your suite collection, don't forget to add the cardstock that coordinates. That makes it so easy to pull from the designer series paper to create your card bases and your layers. And then we're gonna turn over to this next page and you will see here a little bit bigger view of the stamp set. Talks about the bundle and saving 10% and yet another sample. So I love the way this is laid out. It's been like this for a couple of catalogs now and I really, really like it. Okay, let's take a look at some things. Now, if you attended stamp class last weekend, you will have already seen some of these projects. And then I think I even have a couple of samples from a swap that I participated in, but these are the treat boxes that are in that suite. Then this is a little treat holder that we made. Lots and lots of hearts, so much fun. This embossing folder, this gingham embossing folder, has quickly become one of my favorites. I'm really bad with embossing folders about tucking them away and I forget about them. So I'm either really using embossing folders or not. So be sure to pull out your embossing folders. They just add so much texture and interest to your cards. And it's so easy to run those through your stamp and cut and emboss machine and get that beautiful effect. Okay, let's pull out a few samples. I've got quite a lot, probably more for this suite than anything else because we did just have that class. And we can look right quick at the designer series paper. I know most of you were part of stamp class last week, so you have already gotten some of these products in your hands. 
but we love pretty paper, right? Let's see if I can get that last page. Super cute. Okay, here is a card that we actually just made on Facebook Live on Wednesday. So these are quick and cute little Valentine cards. I love the tag in this die set and then also that super cute little envelope and so many options for hearts in that suite. This is a card. Whoops, I've got it upside down, don't I? This is a card that I created for a swap, a demonstrator swap that I participated in. And I love using the purple, a little bit unexpected for a Valentine. And then I think the next couple that we have are from Stamp Class again, this and that. We played that kind of game of stamping, this or that, and so this is the card that you guys created by voting on the products, and that is the card that Dale was creating in the background um, with the products that you didn't choose. So that's always fun, and I thought both of those turned out really cute. Then this is one of the cards from Stamp Class, and this one is as well. It's that super easy little fun fold. That belly band doesn't wanna move. It's got a belly band and then just a little fun fold. So that's a quick and easy one. Here is a swap that I received and I thought this was a cute layout and just a small piece of foil paper to really make that even more special. Oops, this one is in the wrong spot. I lost that card and that's where it went. Okay. So let me grab my notes again and see where I am at. We're all the way down to, we're gonna jump a little bit and we're gonna go to page 14. So we're not gonna go page by page. I just really want to bring um, some things that I think are easy to miss. Okay. This suite of products that's um, Flowering Fields, I only have a couple of the components. I don't have the stamps and dies, but I do have the paper and I do have the ribbon. And it's absolutely fabulous. And so I wanted to share that with you. Now this is also a swap that I received using these products and it's a really neat fun fold. So look how beautiful that is. Love bringing in items that carried over from the last cabin from the Halloween suitable with these products. So we'll take a look right quick at this. Oops, I lost you guys. There we go. We've got a couple more that have joined us. Thank you. Hi, Sherry. So let's take a look first at this ribbon. This is Evening Evergreen and White, and I thought it was just a really unique ribbon, so pretty. That was one that drew my attention right away. I think it's about 3 8 inch wide. And then we'll take a look at this gorgeous designer series paper. So I do have my swatch books, but this paper, I wanted you to see the full 12 by 12 sheets. I think it just makes such an impact. So lovely, the colors are amazing. Just beautiful. It's really cute paper. And like I said, this is what I'm all, I always gravitate to the new papers. Just love it. Okay, let's flip it over and take a look at the B side. I think you're gonna love this effect on the B side. So pretty. Don't you love the colors? Absolutely gorgeous. So the great thing about this mini catalog is it's our spring product line because you know, as crafters, we have to craft ahead a little bit. So we're in the midst of winter, but we're creating with beautiful colors and ribbons and embellishments. So I wanted to definitely stop there and show you that gorgeous paper. And then we're gonna move on to page 18. Oops, that's 16. Have all my little tabs here. And I had to stop, of course, and share the Rainbow of Happiness bundle. It's a photopolymer stamp set and die set. 
it is super, super popular, you guys. So I think I have just a couple of, well, I may have already messed up. No. Okay, so it's a super popular bundle. It coordinates with some designer series paper that you can get free in the celebration catalog. So we're just stopping here quickly so that you can see these products because you're gonna see some paper um, in just a few minutes that's absolutely amazing. And it coordinates perfectly with these stamps and dies. Okay, let's move on to page 20. And you're going to see another really popular stamp set. Um, this is one that has just taken off and I only have one sample I have ordered this stamp set but I don't have it yet this stamp set and punch it's the hello ladybug super super cute here is a little sample using those products isn't it darling and that actually has embossing in the background you've got your little ladybug so so cute but this has already been a very, very popular stamp and punch bundle. And I will say that um, punches seem to sell out really quickly. Um, Stampin' Up! does the best they can, keeping things in stock, but if you want um, a bundle that has a stamp and die versus a stamp and punch, I can tell you that punches seem to be what sells out first. Okay, I wanna stop here on page 25 because this is a set that I actually overlooked. So I know that the sweets are amazing and I do love the sweets of products, but I also like to stop and look at some of these standalone stamp sets because it's easy to pass these by. There's not as many samples. And so sometimes we miss things that we really shouldn't miss. So when I received a couple of swaps from a demonstrator card swap, that's when I really noticed um, the Paradise Palms stamp set. So let me grab these samples right quick to share with you. Really pretty. I thought um, this one was just very beautifully done. I love it. And then we have one more. And again, just beautifully done. Wouldn't you love to be there? I would. So pretty tropical and it's what 32 degrees outside that makes it even better that would make it so much fun to be there okay let's move on we're going to go to page 30 i don't know that my tabs are really helping me this time um that's 32 that's 30 okay and we'll stop here for a couple of different reasons Again, I have some samples for you, and these, again, are made by other demonstrators from my swap. But we have the super cute Flowering Rain Boots stamp set. Now, this one did jump out at me. I thought it was really, really cute. So here it is paired with the Flowering Fields stamp set in paper. Isn't that darling? These rain boots are just so cute. And you may be seeing more of these rain boots, hint, hint. And then here's one with the watering can. I thought both of these samples were just really, really pretty and well done. So don't miss that stamp set. That one did jump out at me. Let me check my comments again. Hello, LD. And then this other stamp set that's right beside it, another one that I missed until I went through my swaps, and this one is called Kite Delight. When my kids were younger and we lived in Germany, we had a couple neighbors that actually made kites. And so that's something that Dale and the kids did a lot was go and fly kites. There were actually kite competitions that we went to. So um, I was really excited to see this little set in there so let me know if kites are special to you but kite delight is another one that i think is easy to overlook 
Okay, I think I'm turning the page now on my notes. And the next thing we're gonna do is stop at page 32. Should be that very next page. And we're going to look at um, Artfully Composed. So if you are participating in the after party today, this is the suite of products that we're going to be using. I've kind of kept that a secret, but I'm really, really excited about our after party and the projects that we're going to be making and what we're gonna be talking about and our challenges. So if you don't know what after party is, this is the second catalog now that I've done this with. And I think going forward, we're going to continue because it's just so much fun. So we have some creative challenges we have bingo with a twist. So not the traditional bingo with the bingo cards, but we choose numbers between one and 30. So there will be some bingo prizes. We just have um, like a stamping presentation. I'll be showing some unique things about this suite and going over the components in the suite. But if you did not register for After Party, make sure that when the catalog comes out in May, you join us because it really is a lot of fun. We do it on Zoom. Um, and you just don't want to miss it next time. I think we have eight people that will be joining us tonight, and I'm super excited to see you guys, but this is the suite we'll be using, and this is the beautiful paper that we will be using. Again, it just takes us away to someplace warm and fun. Such beautiful colors. I love all the leaves. Very tropical. Let's see if I can get that last page. It doesn't want to cooperate, but this is a beautiful suite. Okay, next up, we're going to stop at page 42. That's 40. You can see we're skipping a lot. That doesn't mean that those items are not important and they're not beautiful. And so if I'm skipping something that you just love, I'm sorry. I can't I can't get everything and I can't show everything, but um, a lot of times what I like to do is pull out the items that I think you may have missed. So this is New Horizons. And again, I don't have, I haven't had my coffee yet, y'all. So isn't that gorgeous? This would be beautiful with, um, for scrapbooking, making lovely cards. So pretty. So this is actually a six by six paper stack. <coughs> Excuse me. But I definitely wanted to share with you this beautiful paper. Okay, let's skip ahead a couple pages. And we'll go to 45. <coughs> Goodness, I've got a tickle in my throat. I may have to run and get a bottle of water. So sorry, y'all. Okay, stopping here. <coughs> Excuse me, I wanted to talk to you about the background stamps. That's why we're stopping here. Again, these are very easy to overlook and these are a great way to add some dimension and texture and just some interest to the background of your cards. So. If you don't have a designer series paper that works well with the products that you want to use, it's fun to pull in a background stamp. So don't miss those on page 45. Then we're going to jump ahead a couple pages to 48. And here we have the Abstract Beauty products. So the reason I definitely wanted to stop here, and you're going to see these products a little bit more with our make and takes at noon. But this is something I've not seen before. I've been a demonstrator, it'll be nine years next month. And I have never seen Stampin' Up! present to us paper, designer series paper that is four by six. So when I saw that, of course I had to get it. And this is how it is packaged and prepared. I have used a lot of the paper and I sent out a lot for our make and takes, but I'll just quickly flip through and show you, you get four pieces of each design and many of them are foiled. And we'll show later how quick and easy you can create a card with these papers. Aren't they 
pretty, just something very different. I love this. Just the gold stripes, gold dots, and then let me flip those over so you can see some of the back, the B side of the paper. This stripes, diagonal stripes, so lots of pretty paper in this package. And it is a specialty paper because it has the foiling. You can see you get four of each design. I've pulled a lot of them out during the breaks with that. Okay, let's jump ahead to page 52. And here I wanted to stop and show you that we now have slimline envelopes. So these come in a package of 15, really cool. Slimline cards are so very popular and I was excited to see that we had these. So these envelopes measure three and seven eighths by eight and seven eighths. So there is a sweet, um, I'm sorry, a bundle that coordinates with these envelopes, but I missed these the first hundred times that I looked at the catalog. So I saw someone using them and I was like, where did those come from? Well, this is where you can find them on page 52. Slimline envelopes. Then let's move up to page 58. And here is the Heart and Home suite of products, and it's got so much, so many components to offer. Beautiful paper, some doilies, cute embellishments. And then in the process, there is also um, an embossing folder in this suite, and it's called the Hive Embossing Folder. And just so happens, this is going to be one of our giveaways today. And I wanted to be sure to share this sweet card with you that is made using that embossing folder. So isn't that pretty? And I'll try to hold it a little bit closer where you can actually see the inking over where it's been embossed. This is really, really pretty, you guys. So again, pull out those embossing folders because they can make such a difference on your projects. Oh, and my iPad has decided to update. Sorry, you guys. I won't be able to see comments for the rest of this video, probably. Okay, let's jump ahead to page 62. And this is another stamp set. This is just a single stamp, but it's a pretty good size stamp. And let me find the name of it right quick. Page 62 is every chapter and I do have a cute little sample from that demonstrator swap using that stamp set again easy to overlook I think this is a neat set because you could so easily cut this apart but look at how what a beautiful job she did stamping and coloring that just a really neat set especially if you have someone that just loves to read and we've got a couple of those people in our family. Then we're gonna move on to page, I think it's 66. And we have had a couple of cactus sets lately, but this one is called Cactus Cuties. Again, I think very easy to overlook. It would pair really well with the plant designer series paper that we have in the annual catalog. I think that would be awesome. But here is a sample that I received, and I thought that was really, really cute. Quick and easy, but super cute. And look at how I'm doing on time. Running just a little bit behind, you guys. I'll try to step it up a little bit. We're almost done with the catalog, though. And then page 68 is the suite called Hay Sport. And I don't have, you know, young kids at home, but definitely if you have kids that are active in sports, this would be a very cute suite of products for you. I have this sample 
and I thought that was really, really cute. And we'll just quickly take a look at the designer series paper. You've got lots of options for fussy cutting and just really, really cute paper. So even if you love going to the ball games and you love scrapbooking, because this is a 12 by 12. Yeah, I guess it's just one. This is a 12 by 12 paper. Um, it would be great for scrapbooking as well. And then we'll move up to page 74. And this is a, a, <laughs> a, a stamp set can't find my words. It's a stamp set that I was drawn to right away. Again, a standalone set. On our Facebook Live a couple weeks ago, we used this set to create a card. That was one of my samples, but we had this card that is actually You Rock, and the albums are cut with the layering circle dies. The largest circle works perfectly. I'll bring this close so you can see that that is clear embossed and it actually changes the texture. It makes it feel like a vinyl album. I love this set. It's just so um, reminiscent and nostalgic for me. Then as we finish up in this catalog, we have some reference pages with our bundle. So stamp punch and stamp die bundles. And then we also have a list of all of just the stamps, all of the designer series paper, all of the embellishments. So don't forget to look at the back of your catalog and see those reference pages, okay? That can really help you if you're looking for a specific item. It can really save you some time. Let me bring in the Celebration brochure and we're gonna do the same thing here. Now Celebration is our free gift with purchase. $50 increments, you've got $50 tier and $100 tier. We're gonna look at some samples for some of these products. So nothing in this catalog, this little brochure, has a price tag because they're all free gifts. Now this first stamp set, super cute. I just don't happen to have two. The Daffodil Afternoon, have I got some samples for y'all. I think we'll look at this one first because it also uses that high embossing folder. So isn't that pretty? This designer series paper is 12 by 12, and it is fabulous, you guys. Here is a little card. Um, you've seen me make these before. It's a pocket card. I made this for a swap. Pulled in that ribbon. Here is a card that I just made on our Finding Inspiration video. I have a new video series. They post on YouTube on Friday, so you can check that out there. I share the videos on my Facebook page as well, but this is just... <clears throat> recreating one of the projects from the brochure. And here is another card using that designer series paper and just a little strip on the inside with those border dies. Super fun. Okay, let's move on. And the next one we have is Catching Butterflies. And I have one little swap. It's a sweet, sweet sample using this stamp set. If you love to color with our Stampin' Blends, or really any of our coloring mediums, this would be a great set for you. But this is a beautiful little card. Then let me look at this closer. Um, this is a sweet little stamp set. And again, near and dear to my heart because Tara had that Volkswagen, 72 Volkswagen Beetle. So really, really cute. And then I have this other sample that shows the little car and it's a fancy fold as well. It shows the little car and then it also is featuring the Sunshine and Rainbows designer series paper that I was talking about earlier that is so, so, you, you guys. So I've got a couple samples to share with you here. Now this is one that again, we just cased the catalog. This was from, from my Friday Finding Inspiration video and we made our little project that looks very much like the sample in the brochure. 
This is one that I think we may have made even on Facebook Live featuring that designer series paper. And this is actually a little pocket card too. So fun. And here is one that I created for a swap that I participated in. Another just very easy fun fold. So let's take a look at this paper right quick because I'll tell you, this has been one of the most popular papers I've seen in quite some time. So again, the celebration items are while supplies last. If this is one that you have your eye on, be sure to redeem for it. Remember that we make our stamps in Kanab, Utah, so stamps are actually available longer because we can make more stamps. So when you're redeeming your celebration items, get those consumable products because you will be able to get the stamps further into the promotion. Let's quickly take a look at this other side. I just want to finish on time so that Judy can start on time. So don't forget we have a presentation by Judy at 10 and Cassandra at 11. So excited. And they're both on our team of super inspired stampers and both fabulous crafters. You're in for a treat. And that paper just so darling. I love this paper. And we are using this in our Rainbows of Happiness Bingo next Saturday. Okay, what else do I have to share with you? Let's, um, I didn't pull anything out for the Marvelous paper. It's really pretty though. I do have the Awesome Otter, so I've got a couple of samples that fellow demonstrators have made for swaps, so let me pull those out. This one is absolutely darling, so bright and colorful. Really, really cute. That's that Rainbows paper. And then this one is really neat. This is a hybrid embossing folder that die cuts and embosses at the same time. And it's in the mini catalog back up there by Sweet Talk. Whoops. And then one more here. Isn't that precious? Again, if you love to color, this would be a great set for you. And then let's look at Friendly Hello. I've got a lot of samples for it as well. Uh, first, I wanted to share with you, uh, you know, sympathy cards can be tough. And I thought this was just really, really pretty. Simple, I think that's the key to sympathy cards. Simple, but this designer series paper is lovely. So this is a combo. Here again is one that we cased from the catalog, our version. Of this card but this is a combo this is a hundred dollar level so when you purchase a hundred dollars then you're able to choose this and you get both the 12 by 12 paper and the stamp set so pretty this was a swap that we made with the book binding fold and then one more swap that I received love that nice bold sentiment and then don't forget, there's also um, a joining special going on right now. So if you join our team and Stampin' Up, you get not only the $125 worth of product for $99 plus tax with free shipping, you get to pick two additional stamp sets of your choice from the annual catalog or the mini catalog. And then there's also a hosting special and it's this beautiful stamp set. So if you have a party, gather orders, or if you host your own order of $300 or more, this is in addition to all the other rewards. Okay, if you have any questions, I hope that you have posted them. I'm so sorry that my iPad updated and I lost you guys, but I do appreciate you being here with me for our catalog walkthrough. Let me see what time it is. Oh, we've got just a little bit of time to maybe grab a cup of coffee or some juice or another beverage. And we will be back at 10 o'clock and Judy will be here to do her presentation. So thanks, you guys. I'll see you back in a little bit.